here we go. This trick is a prediction effect. Um, it's also kind of got a, a card of the number uh, feel to it. So I like pre the prediction plot. I also like card it at number. Um, so I think anytime you can combine those two plots, I think you've got yourself a winner. So what you would do is you'd have the spectator um, cut off about a third of the cards. They would then cut half of what's left over to there, and then they would stack them up. Um, you can ask them, would you like to cut those again, or are you happy with what you've done? Let's say in this case, they just say that they're happy there. So they're going to take a look at the card they've cut to, and they're going to remember this card. You would then ask them to cut a big chunk of cards, more than half, and they're going to bury their card deep into the packet. And then you'll ask them to pick up the cards and give them a triple cut. So they're going to cut a third of the cards to the table, they'll cut half of what's left, and then they'll place the remaining cards there. So just to recap, they cut the cards as often as they would like. Um, they looked and remembered the top card, they buried it deep into the packet, and now they've given the cards a triple cut. So now they don't even know where the card is at that they've selected. Now before the trick began, I placed a prediction on the table. It's been sitting over here the entire time. And my prediction is that of a number. And the number I predicted here is 25. This tells us that the 25th card down in the pack, uh, a deck that you've handled yourself and I haven't really touched, um, is going to be your thought of card or your selected card. If you would, pick up the deck, deal 24 cards face up, and then stop at 25 um, before you deal it. So they'll pick up the cards and they'll go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. They're going to stop right there. Now, you're just thinking of a card. Are you thinking of a red card? Are you thinking of a heart? Are you thinking of the three of hearts? The three of hearts you are. At the 25th position, go ahead and turn over the card in your hand and take a look. And they're going to turn over and they're going to find the card they selected, the three of hearts at the 25th position um, that you predicted before the trick began. That's Hands Off, it's by Richard Osterlin, and I think it's a really powerful effect. Hope you guys liked it, take care.